what's up everybody i ain't trying to make this long man so what i got going on is i'm pulling some laws down from microsoft 365 microsoft azure okay um pulling them down into splunk i'm going to tell you how to set that up i'm going to show you uh how to um look at some fields and event types in splunk run a few commands um run a few spl commands um look at a few maps and charts and things like that so uh let's jump right into it okay guys let's jump right into it so as you can see guys i got splunk up already these are the four apps that you're going to need to add guys splunk add-on for microsoft office 365 microsoft 365 app for splunk sankey diagram and timeline how you do that guys you go right here to find more apps okay then you type in microsoft 365 i spelled it wrong but whatever you're going to add these two splunk add-on for microsoft office I already have them added so that's why you don't see them the other one is sankey diagram okay sankey uh, diagram you're going to download that and the last one is timeline all right splunk timeline okay then guys once you have all those added guys okay we're going to go back to the splunk home page you need to go to your 365 so you got microsoft 365 guys when you're doing this you need a either microsoft 365 business account or microsoft 365 business premium account you cannot do it with just a regular microsoft 365 account okay because you need the uh, azure active directory uh, to give admin permission so you can do certain things so once you're um in the microsoft 365 admin Okay, you go uh, right here. You see, I can already uh, pre made some users. Then you go right here to, I'm sorry, I went to the wrong thing. Go back. Instead of going to security, you're supposed to go to compliance. So go right here, go to compliance. Okay. Should bring up purview. All right. Once you get on this page here, okay. You go right here to audit. Okay. And what you have here, guys, uh, this is just you just enabling your audit logs. So if you this is not enabled, it'll be a button right here. You got to click to enable your audit log so that you can um, uh, you can uh, pull audit. I mean, pull logs down from uh, Azure. So after you do that, guys, then you go back here to your Microsoft uh, Azure Active Directory, okay? Then you go to Manage Azure Active Directory. You're going to go down here to App Registration, okay? Click App Registration. All right, once you're here, guys, you're going to go right here to New Registration, okay? Then you're going to name this Splunk Logs. Okay, you're gonna leave that, you're gonna name this web, then this right here, you're gonna put http colon localhost register. Alright, after you had that register, guys, then you're gonna go right here to API permissions. Okay. Once you get here, guys, what you're going to do, you click Add Permissions. You're going to go right here to Office 365 Management APIs. You're going to go to Application Permissions. You're going to click these. Okay, make sure all of those are clicked. Add Permissions. Updating Permissions. All right, that's added. You're going to go right here to Grant Admin Consent. Yes. Okay, and you successfully uh, granted admin consent. Okay, then you go go right here, guys. All right, you gonna go to overview. Okay, and you need to you need to copy these down. You need to copy this client ID and this tenant ID. Okay, copy the client ID and paste that somewhere that you're gonna use it. Somewhere where you have it in the directory, the tenant ID. Okay, you need that also. All right, then the last thing you're gonna do, guys, go right here to Certificates and Secrets. Okay, then you're gonna go to New Client Secret. Okay, gonna name this Splunk Logs. Okay, add. Then you have that right there. Okay, so what you do, you need this special value right here, this secret value. All right, so you're gonna copy that with the little button. 
So now you have everything you need, okay, to connect this to Spunk right here. So now we're gonna go back to our Spunk, okay. We're gonna go to our app we just downloaded, Spunk add-on for Microsoft Office 365. Okay, we're gonna click that. After we get all this all uh, um, loaded up, I'll go right here to tint it. All right, add tenant. We're going to do Office 365 logs. Office 365 logs. Endpoint worldwide. The tenant ID. Remember when we, what we just got? We got to paste that in here. This is how you connect it. Client ID, get that. All right, and then you got the secret. Put that in there, okay? I'll go ahead and enter that, and it should connect right here. All right, now it's connected. You go right here to input. Now you're going to tell it what to pull down. Okay. You go right here to add input. Management activity. All right, you select your tenant. Office 365 law. So it's your at the direct the audit. Audit. All right, then this, we're going to set that domain. We're going to add that. What we're gonna do, we're gonna add all these content types. We're gonna add uh, Exchange, SharePoint, and General also, okay? I'll go ahead and do that. Exchange, okay. That's right, index main, add. Alright, add management activity in it main general. Service and have we're gonna have both of these. And I like to add these last two, these Office 365 ones. So I'm going to add them. Okay. Office 365. Okay. The groups. Man. I'm going to add this last one. Then we're going to run the query through it. I'm going to look at it. Okay. Alright guys, we got all this connected to Splunk right now, so should be good after this one. Let's go ahead and um, run a search through it and see what we can pick up real quick. Go look at some logs. Okay. 
So the index was main. Index is the main. Let me go ahead and uh, see what's coming up. All right, we got some stuff popping up, guys. All right, so we got some fields, we got some event types. Okay, we see you got right here, you got a user ID. All right, you see they're coming down, the user was logged in. If it didn't want logged in, it would say like user failed. I'm gonna actually uh, pause this for a little while, run some more data through this um, with some of the users that I have in my uh, Microsoft 365 account, and then we're gonna um, observe them a little more carefully. So. Uh, Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just ran some more data through this. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. <clears throat> all right. As you can see, guys, all right, we got a lot of stuff going on here. All right. Look like we got some mail logs. You see the fields and the... Um, um, the values right here, we can match the fields with the values. All right, look like some mail, uh, email, and what's going on with LeBron James. Um, you can see these user IDs. Let's just um, look at one of the uh, values, which is user ID. Okay, these are the different users that were um, had activity inside of um, the Azure Cloud. Okay. We're going to go right here to John Moran. Let's check John Moran out and see what he had going on. Okay, so I'm going to add him to the search bar. Okay, just by clicking that. All right. I'm going to see what John Morant was doing. Okay. So you can see John Morant. All right. He logged in right here. All right. Um, see, so we got something weird right here. Here's a login error. So you got to notice stuff like this when you're looking at Spunk Logs, guys. User login failed. This a a, 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 um, a failed login attempt by John Morant. Okay, looks like he got in on the one after that. You see all these are time labeled also. Okay, so um, we're gonna look at um, these user login failed because uh, we know that's the field that's populating. That's the um, that is the value that's populating for a failed login attempt. So we're gonna click that and add that to search. And we're just gonna search. Um, we're just going to search anything dealing with a failed login, okay? Let's go ahead and search that. All right, so these are all the failed uh, login attempts, logs. LeBron James, he failed logging in right there. Um, LeBron again. Uh, LeBron again. You can see what user failed to log in. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, LeBron, he logged in a, wrong a lot of times. They go John Morant. He logged, uh, it was a failed login attempt. And you can just, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's asking him the user strong authentication and role requirement interruption. Because I haven't set up the uh, the multi-factor or these accounts yet with this Office 365, and it's an error that comes up. That's what this log is saying right here. It's saying that I need to set up my MFA. This is uh, telling me that it uh, that it was a failed login attempt, and this is telling me who the user was that was trying to do that. Okay, and um, even uh, Spunk's very powerful, guys. Even if you go to let's just say we wanted to take a look at some visuals, okay. All right, we're going to go with the selected fields, okay? Let's let this log up here. Let's, let's load up here. All right, guys, so we're going to go to a simple graph right here, okay? that you can see here all right it's tell you what times 
these failed login event uh with failed login attempts happen there a lot of them happen around 4 30 a lot of them happen around 6 30 all right these are the times when this activity spiked okay and then the last thing we're going to do guys we're going to take a look at this microsoft 365 app for Splunk. okay this pulls a lot of uh, useful data down as well from azure let's go ahead and come up here <clears throat> all right let's see what we got here in this app all right All right, we got five active users today. We got 117 failed logins today. Um, security alert 17 is tell you where all the data is coming from. All the uh, all the data was coming from the United States. Okay, and uh, this app, man, uh, it can do a lot. You can audit the users. Okay, bear with me. My computer want to be slow today. Okay. All right. So user ID, we're just gonna do J Moran. All right. Yeah. Microsoft.com on Microsoft.com. I'm sorry. On. All right, so I'm going to audit John Morant with his user ID and waiting for the data to come down. All right, you see John Morant, he was active in the uh, Exchange. He was active in OneDrive a little bit. Microsoft Teams, SharePoint. Show you what he was doing. Okay, so Splunk's real powerful, guys. And uh, this is a quick uh, me running through some things, uh, Splunk logs and things inside of uh, um, Splunk for Microsoft 365. So uh, you guys uh, appreciate you watching the video, and uh, we're gonna end it here.